Good practice, hard practice, uh, good week, off week. I uh, like the attitude. I've gotten better, in my opinion, in some areas. It's got to continue. Hopefully, we'll continue next week. Questions? How is Everett Gold grasping when you're saying, you know, leaving a couple plays on the field? Is he kind of seeing what those <laughs> uh, plays are? I hope or? so. We'll find out. Needs to do a much better job, though. Mm -hmm. Needs to do a much better job. How's the offensive line looked after struggling a bit on Saturday? Better this week. Have blocked our guys. Have went at our guys and, and inside run and pass pro and the team stuff. Have done a better job in that. And our guys are pretty good. Jamal, uh, Mario Benner's on here? No, Mario's in the hospital. He got a collapsed lung the other day in practice. And a very, it's running in the back of one of his own guys. And they, he's doing good. He should be out of the hospital today. And they, there's a possibility they second play in 10 to 12 days. So I don't know. But he's, he was, we saw him in the hospital last night. A freak thing. I mean, just. Never even, I mean, just a bump. I mean, it wasn't even a hard shot. He was running back with his guys, made a cut, one of his linemen come back, and he did it. And he kept on going. Back to the city had trouble breathing. That collapsed going. Is that 10 to 12 days to play? Or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's yeah. what they said, possibility. I play. saw him coming no, the, playing, yes. I thought we saw him coming off the field. Is he, Today? Did he stay, no, yesterday. Did he stay no, he wasn't. No, he was in no, there he yesterday. He was going yesterday. It happened the uh, day before. Tuesday. Um, that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, he was. He was all. He, he stayed out here. He just, you know, just felt uncomfortable. Then they took him in, took him to the hospital, and found out he had it. It sounds like it'd be a scary thing. I don't. It would. Usually, have broke ribs. I mean, I'm talking about nothing. I mean, just there's a thousand hits a day out there that in practice that are just. But when things happen. Things happen. Jim's defense has definitely had a lot more renewed uh, motivation. Mm -hmm. um, how much is that? Is Charles Kelly and the work Brad Long as well have done? Charles has done a great job. Charles is a coordinator, and he's done a great job of getting things in line, and our assistant coaches have done a good job. But our kids are playing hard. They've taken to the coaching. And, he, and the key to this defense in a lot of ways, you got a lot of fourth- and fifth-year guys that have stepped. It's almost like old-school stuff. You had the great players. I mean, Jalen, those guys are doing a great job. But Terrence Smith's the fifth-year guy is really emerging. Giorgio's really emerging. Lamarcus Brutus is really emerging. Niall Lawrence is coming in that fifth year. Those older guys. Have real, I mean, not the only guy, but they're really making that thing. You know, Terry, uh, Tyler Hunter, you know, you get a lot of those guys on there, and they're really playing like fourth and fifth year guys. Very proud of those guys. No one can sprinkle in young guys like, like Derwin or Roderick. And Kader. Exactly right. You got all the other guys that mixed in. There's older guys staying constant. It's a great mix. And, you know, Josh Sweat and all those other guys inside Naughty and all those guys. And then, you know, you get Pew and just so on and so you know it goes and Reggie Reggie Northup's another fifth year guy you know older guy I mean those guys when you, you got those older guys it matters because they know how to play know how to play situations you know what I mean you, you think it's your last season that they just want to prove themselves well, well. I, well I don't know if they want to prove I don't think it's, you always want to prove yourself I don't nobody's down on what they did last year I'm not at all I mean that's just what you do as a player and as you get older you play better I don't know if you're aware of this, but since you guys took over in 2010, you guys have the most wins of anybody in college football. You were tied with Alabama, and then they lost. Is that what that mean to you? And I'm sure it's hopefully we're doing the right things. I had no idea. That's, that's great. I'm good. That's what we want to do is be successful. But hopefully we now we got to do it again. Was Trey Marshall out here today? Yeah. Was he? Was practice, he the whole practice. Today? Why? Oh, sorry. Yeah, he's out there. Uh, no, why you? Not... I missed him. He ain't even been here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, was, he was there the whole time. He had a great practice, matter of fact. I noticed him three or four times. I was getting to say, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought I saw Trey Marsh out there making plays. Is Hofeld coming back to? Hofeld's doing a really good job. I mean, you you starting to see some experience in him now, playing really good football. And he's healthy and calls and experience and doing a really good job. Last year, was that in hindsight early for him to? Oh, just like him? it is for Martin. I mean, you're throwing guys in the fire now before they have to. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's just. Uh, the scenario we go through, but uh, it is. I mean, as a freshman, now it's another year calls things. He's done a nice job last week and a half. So is, it almost, is it almost like a blessing in disguise that he's able to get out there last year and get those reps? No doubt. Started? I mean, you, you know, you say they ain't ready, but you want those guys to, to do it. You know what I mean? The line's tough for a young guy, but especially that center position. That put it's a like lot court, all, all the calls, then the physicality of those shades and those big bodies. I mean, it's just, it's tough. It's extremely tough.